How did women fare during the war then? Mixed. On the one hand, clearly war changed the lives of many women. It made it possible for them to imagine wage work so that despite the propaganda that pushed them out of the labor force when the war ended, and despite efforts to push them back into the family, women were not permanently removed from the labor force. As we shall see, the enormous efforts to keep women in the home that followed the war succeeded only briefly. Post-war men understood that masculinizing the workforce and maintaining the American standard of living complemented the female role of maintaining the home. In the 1950s, this sense of partnership became part of the myth of how Americans should and could live. It also became part of the myth of how American families might function at a time of Cold War. To be American meant not only digging an air raid shelter in the backyard, but being part of a family supported by a male breadwinner. McCarthyism, the embodiment of fear of communism in that period, focused on threats to the home. It cared particularly about the threat it saw in homosexual lifestyles, which seemed to undermine the home. It cared as well about families in which women had careers instead of just jobs that paid the bills, and about families that did not appreciate the consumption that was part of the new American standard of living. The American 1950s organized the family to fight the Cold War with ever greater consumption. And that we're going to take a look at as we start to look at the 1950s.